morning guys, it's Meg. Welcome back to the vlog. We've got an early start to the day today. It's currently like 9.15 in the morning. It's a bit of a hectic morning. I'm not used to being ready for the day at this time. It's 9.17 and I have to go take my grandparents to a doctor's appointment. big puzzle going in here. I did the other two in what three four days. I think I did it last year. It took me so long you know. Yep. Is <laughs> it 500 pieces? That's uh, there it is. Doctor's appointment done. It's now 11 42 a.m. Uh, I actually really like getting my day started this early like ideally I would be starting my day at 9 a.m. It just doesn't always work out that way unless I have like something specific to do. Anyways, today I think I'm gonna take you guys to Locust Lake, which is a state park in my area. I know in the last vlog I was like, oh, there's no places in my area that are less than 30 minutes away. I kind of lied because there is this place. I just didn't want to go there because I thought it was gonna be too foggy. This was actually one of the first places I wanted to come fly my drone at back in November. However, at the time, you guys, if you guys saw uh, like my first vlogs where I was flying the drone, uh, again back in November, you might have seen the one where I, that was titled something like, I almost went somewhere dangerous to fly my drone. I was talking about this place, but I don't think there's any reason to like be afraid to come here now. Back in November, there were like Facebook posts talking about how some man in a in like a maroon truck would stalk women that drove the road to get here that was why i was scared to come here i haven't heard any updates about that situation low-key guys i came here a few days ago and i was vlogging but didn't make the final cut but i think i want to make today's video about how i edit my drone photography because that's been a requested topic in the comments of previous vlogs and i've been meaning to make a video about this so that's what today's video is going to be about and i could have just used some of my old drone photos to make a video about how i edit them however i thought like this would be a lot more fun to come out here and get some new ones so that's what we're going to do today It got extremely cold outside so I had to hop in the car and fly from here. I can still see it and first things first, before I tell you guys how I edit my drone photography, I have to tell you guys how I shoot the drone photography. For the most part, I've been shooting most of my photography with the drone in HDR mode which is basically I do three exposures. Uh, for each photo. I like doing this instead of shooting a single photo because I feel like I get the most dynamic range this way. For the most part, I've been doing that. Recently, I've also been messing around with the pa panorama modes on the drone and I like to do the vertical panoramas. Oh, look, the car just went by. So that's another way that I shoot the photos and when we like get home and I get into editing, I'll show you guys how I edit both types of photos. That's two out of three batteries. I'm gonna head over to the other side of the lake here. I wasn't really loving the vertical panoramas that I got, so I'm gonna try to get some more. I'm gonna use the last battery that I have. So actually, I think I got another better idea and good thing I have these huge gloves because my hands would be freezing but there's a small bridge over there 
and I think it'd be much cooler to set the drone off from there. Maybe get it in some of the photos. <laughs> another day all right so the first thing I do this is kind of obvious but when I go to edit my drone photos I like copy and I paste them into a new folder on my hard drive all right so now that they're all copied and pasted I'm going to open up Lightroom which is the Adobe like editing software I use to edit my photos. I'm going to create a new album and I'll call it uh, January 4th Locust Lake Drone Photos. Then I'm going to click this add photos button up here in the top left corner as you can see. Then I'm going to go to the folder that I saved it in on my hard drive and I'm gonna just import this first. This is basically all the stuff that's not the panoramas because I don't know, for some reason the drone saves the panoramas in separate folders. So we'll get to that uh, after we do these ones first. So I'm just going to select all of them and then click review for import. All right, so I like to just use the raw files, the raw DNG files. I don't like to import, I don't import any of the JPEGs. I don't import, obviously I don't import uh, the MP4 files because that's the video files. So before I click add photos, I'm going to deselect all of the ones that aren't DNG files. So I'm gonna deselect all of the JPEGs. I don't want them. Uh, and I'm gonna deselect all of the video files. All right, once I've deselected all of the ones that I don't want, all of the files that I don't want, the JPEGs, and the mp4 files, I'm just going to click add 18 photos since there are 18 photos left. So I think we're going to use this one as an example. Like I said earlier, there are three different exposures of the same photo. So this is the evenly exposed one, the normally exposed one. Uh, this is actually, I think this would be the normally exposed one. This would be the underexposed one and this would be the overexposed one. Um, so, in order to combine uh, the three exposures of this photo, I'm, I'm just going to select one of them, I'm going to press shift, and I'm going to select um, all three of them. So, then I'm going to right click, and I'm going to go down here to photo merge, and then you're going to click HDR merge. and that just is gonna take a minute. This is what the three photos look like together. That's just a preview. Then I'm gonna click merge up here in the top right corner. So now that all the exposures are merged together to create this one high dynamic range photo, I'm going to begin my basic editing. This part is totally up to each individual's own style, but. I'm just going to show you guys how I like to edit my photos. So first we have the exposure and I like to bring that up just a little bit. I'm going to turn the contrast. I like to keep the contrast down to the negative 30s. Then I'm going to go to the highlights and I like to sort of like bring them down a lot. Actually this photo is probably a little bit overexposed so I'm not even going to like really expose it much more. I'm probably just going to keep it like at this exposure. I don't know yet. We'll see. Anyways, after the highlights, I come down here to the shadows and I'm going to bring them up more like to the plus 70s. I'll leave the whites and the blacks the way that it automatically edited them. Next, what I'll do is come down here to the white balance. So I like to turn the temperature down just a little bit. Um, probably in this case, I'll probably leave it at that, but who knows, I might have to come back and change that as well. When it comes to tint, this is looking a little bit purple, 
in my opinion, so I'm going to turn that down a little bit probably leave it at like plus three and then for the vibrance i'm going to turn that down a little bit to plus five i'll leave the saturation at plus three and then i don't do anything with the curves in lightroom scroll down i don't do anything with this color mixer i don't do anything with these effects here I don't do anything with split toning and i'll scroll down to detail and i'll just increase the sharpening to like some amount in the 70s and then i won't touch noise reduction or color noise reduction that's all i do in lightroom pretty much next i'm just going to right click and uh, this time i'm going to click edit in photoshop because i'm going to finish editing this in photoshop now you guys might notice that in pretty much all of my drone photos and like pretty much all of my photos um in general like i like to give them a certain look it's like an orange and teal look and if i can find the let that i used to like edit the colors i will leave it i'll leave a link to it down in the description of this video but i found it from another youtuber named hayden peterson anyways in photoshop i'm gonna come over here to adjustments and i'm gonna click color lookup and then here where it says 3d lut file load 3d lut i'm gonna click that and then I go into my downloads because that's where I have the LUT saved and I'm gonna go and find it. I'm gonna click open. And that's what the LUT looks like. It gives it a really cool orange and teal look and I dig it. However, that's a bit strong in my opinion. It's a bit too much. So I'll come over to opacity and I'll just like tone that down a bit. So that's how I edit most of my drone photos. Uh, however, for the panoramas that I just started doing, there are a few more steps. So I'm going to show you guys an example of that real quick, and then I'm just gonna rinse and repeat for the rest of the photos. All right, I think this one's a pretty good example. So I'm just gonna select these three photos and then import them to Lightroom. And then here they are. This one, this one, and this one are the three photos that I'm gonna merge together that are a part of the panorama. So. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to select these three photos and then right click and then once again I'm going to click photo merge but instead of HDR merge I'm going to go to panorama merge and click that and then it looks something like this looks kind of weird I don't know why it has this border like that but I want to get rid of it, so let's see, I'll usually go to auto crop, and then there, that's like without the border. So there's the sphere, cylindrical, and then there's the perspective. I'm probably just going to go with the cylindrical setting, and then I'm going to click merge up here. This is the finished product. Like I said, I'm just going to repeat the same process that I did for the last photo. And once I'm done, I'll show you guys how they turned out. Anyways, guys. It's now 5.08 p.m. I gotta start getting ready for kickboxing and jujitsu class soon. I didn't go at all last week, um, honestly, because I slacked off and was lazy. Anyways, um, I'm gonna get going, but I hope you guys enjoyed this how to edit drone photography vlog tutorial. If you guys have any other suggestions for like, vlog tutorial type videos i guess we can call them that anyways guys thank you so much for watching this vlog if you liked it please give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below hit the subscribe button if you're not already and hit the bell so that you're notified when the next video drops and i'll see you guys not tomorrow but the next day have a great rest of your day peace <laughs>